Hi everyone, it's Grandma Jackie. I'm back. Never mind all my messy stuff in the background. I just got back from doing some shopping and I wanted to do an oldies haul real quick. But before I get started, I just want to say I hope everyone's having a good day. I was having an amazing day. I didn't set my alarm. I got up when I got up. I had my one cup of coffee that I allowed myself before I went shopping. I stopped at a secondhand store, which is my favorite. I stopped at a Goodwill store. I went to a Dollar Tree. I filled up my Jeep with gas. Um, and then I went to Aldi's. And let me tell you, my trip to Aldi's was what set me off. Okay. I didn't know that in, in this part of everything that's going on that they were limiting certain items okay and there's no sign saying that so whenever I go to Aldi's I always get my um, like cases can cans of corn cans of green beans you know we always restock that's how we do it okay so I got a case of corn we didn't really need to restock anything else so I just grabbed a case of corn well, I got up there and at the end of it she had all my corn setting off to the side except for four cans and I just kind of looked at her and she goes she goes I will allow you to purchase these cans of corn in different transactions but you can only have four per transaction and I'm like I was floored I was like are you serious are you serious and she's like yes she goes I will allow you to do it that way and I was like no I don't want to at this point I was thinking I'm not eating corn anymore <laughs> what are you kidding me like I had no idea that that was still going on because we went there before okay this happened whenever all this started you know all 2020 they was rationing things to where you can only purchase a certain amount of things and we have went there in between time and been able to purchase our cases of our vegetables or whatever, which is how we do it. And no, <laughs> no, I'm like, what? So that just set me off. I was like all the way home. I was like seething. I'm like, what, what? I, I mean, they weren't rationing anything that had to do with processed food or anything like that. It was all food that could be stored in um, families' pantries. So in other words, anything that you could stockpile to feed your family was being rationed. Okay, rant over, enough said. I need to get these hauled because I got cold stuff. So it is awesome outside today. The weather is beautiful, the sun is out. If you hear chainsaws going on, my neighbor goes across the road almost on a daily basis because they, they took down a tree and they've been cutting that tree up for what seems like months. But anyways, so I'm just going to get started. I didn't pull anything out of bags and like I said, never mind all my hoopla over here. Everything needs to be organized in my house, in my life, you name it. Okay, so I got, yeah, I don't even know what I did with my receipt. Oh my gosh, I can't tell you prices. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Let me pause this. I'm back. I found the receipt. Now, will I be able to find out what prices are? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Silence. <laughs> oh, what a day. I'm just so thrown off by all that. It's crazy. Uh, I don't know. Protein wraps. 385. I got two of these protein wraps, um, red pepper hummus, because like I said, that's how I like eating my sandwiches in the, in the summertime, is skipping the bread and going right to the wraps. 
So I did get two of those through 385. I guess I'm gonna Okay, I got some juices, and um, they were 100% juice. So, um, organic apple juice, $1.99 for Lila, of course. And 100% cranberry juice. Oh, she rang up two of them and then voided one. 209. 100%. I do like getting the juices at um, Dollar Tree, but my problem with that is they're never 100% and they're diet, and they're usually one juice mixed with another. So I just want to get just regular. Um. I don't know where this V8 juice is. Should have been somewhere right near there. But I need someone to read the receipt to me. Can I borrow Kansas? <laughs> Cassie. Oh, Cassie at Bargain Budgeter. She had Kansas read off her receipt one time. and I, That's all I need. This V8 low sodium. I think it was $2.88. I'm not finding it on here. That's probably listed as something else. That's kind of what I remember. So I try to get the low sodium whenever I get anything like that. Oh, here's my measly cans of corn. Here's four of them. I'm like, <laughs> I'm still seething, you guys. So there's my four cans of corn that I was rationed. So. Don't eat these all at one time, right? Jeez. So anyways, yeah, there's that. Four cans of corn. Usually my husband and I would just open one can at a time, but the cans of corn were 47 cents a piece. And then I got some of this gravy mix and I got three of them, um, stone mill, 30% less sodium brown gravy mix. I got three of those because I think I only got one more pack of ground brown gravy mix because I used another pack the other day. Okay, so this organic salsa by Simply Nature. Is a couple bucks. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't know. There it is. A dollar eighty nine. So a dollar eighty nine, I thought I'd give it a try. I did get it in the mild. They had medium too, and I think they even had hot, but I just don't do hot anymore. I think I'm gonna break out a bottle of wine. Um, this green tea with, and with lemon and ginseng, I wanted to get it to give it a try. Um, it was 99 cents. I remember that. I'll have to hunt that one. Up. This cheeseburger hamburger helper was a dollar. I think a dollar, either a dollar 19 or a dollar 29. Oh, here it is. $1.24. I was close. Cheeseburger, hamburger helper. I like this. My old, my youngest son likes this too. My husband, not so much, but I just got one box. So. I'm like. Oh, these baby potatoes. They're the different color. I love these things. If you clean them and cut them in half and like spray uh, your baking sheet down and then um, or or you can just use olive oil and use the olive oil over the top of it and some Parmesan cheese with some garlic um, powder this stuff is really good okay little baby potatoes what would they be listed under 
medley potatoes, $2.99. This is really, really good. And actually, if we split this in half, my husband and I can have two side dishes with this. There's that. I did get a paper bag because I only brought one bag in with me. And it was the one from Big Lots. I'll show it to you when I empty it. But I got more than I, I bargained for. Obviously, I tried to get more corn. <laughs> I got some hamburger buns. These hamburger buns are... Oh my gosh. buns. I can't find them. A couple bucks. I don't know. But I did get the kind that's got the little doodads on the top. What do you call it? Classic Kaser buns? I don't know, but we got some pork burgers, frozen pork burgers in the refrigerator that I got off um, Allie's little boy, um, Gage's girlfriend's little boy that was selling them. So... Cheese curls. Can't find it. Oh, the buns were, I found the buns now. $1.99. I can't keep doing that. I'm going to drive myself insane. These chips, I haven't tried these yet. These were $1.99. The crispy taco wavy. And the Queso Fundido? Fundido. <laughs> Chips. Oh, my Lord. I definitely wanted to taste that crispy taco one. I got romaine lettuce. Um, let's see if I can find it really fast. Romaine hearts. $2.99. Celery. Ouch. A dollar thirty-nine. We don't hardly ever get celery. Where am I supposed to put this stuff? We don't hardly ever get celery because we forget about it in the refrigerator. My husband doesn't help me eat it. So then I got Okay, cauliflower was $2.29. I love cauliflower. I'll eat it raw. But yeah, $2.29 for that. I got these little mini cucumbers. They were $1.99. I have to remember that they're in there as well because a lot of times they'll go bad on us. These big peppers. This stuff is at the end. Oh, multi peppers, two eighty nine. Two eighty nine. Mini sweet peppers, two seventy nine. I love these things. I get these on a regular basis. I shouldn't, but I do. These little shrub tomatoes. We call it Cherub. 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 <laughs> 249 Oh, you guys. I can't even talk. I can't use that for excuse because I can't talk all the time. Anyways. And these other tomatoes. I'm not sure what they are. Com Compari tomatoes. They were $1.99. They're just kind of small. Oops. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It is okay. Okay. Now, I've been looking for these. I was so excited to find these. 
Um, this is the off brand, but I could not find it in the Campbell's at Walmart. I've been hunting for this and hunting for it, and you can ask my husband. I love these things. These, I have to tell you what they are. If I can find them. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah I'm tired of looking at the receipt. Anyways, a couple bucks. But it's the pub style slow cooker of um it's for a pot roast and i think the campbell's it says tavern style this is pub style love it but I, if i could eat that in, a, in my pot roast in my slow cooker all the time i would be doing it this was a dollar 99 they're like the little mini oreos cookies i remember that this tartar sauce we didn't have any we have some fish in there I bought this for my husband for Father's Day it's kind of like a leather steering wheel cover thought that would look good in the truck and it was $6.99 okay now I got the cold stuff so I'm going to pause this real quick. I'm back. <laughs> oh. Okay, I, I wanted to try this mocha iced coffee, sweet and creamy. Um, it was $2.85, I believe. I tried to look up some stuff while I was off camera. <laughs> These cheeses that we get every time, they're $1.79 um, by Happy Farms. I got provolone, then I like sharp cheddar, and my husband, of course, likes the pepper jack. So this was $1.79. This, a little pricey, I think it was $3.99, but I wanted to give it a try. It's a broccoli bake frozen broccoli that you bake in the oven. It's got like a creamy cheese sauce with it. Let me try that. This sausage, I don't know. I don't know. Sausage, Italian even. So, that out there. These pizzas, I know were for something. Where are they at? Four sixty nine a piece. I think that's what I'm gonna throw in the oven tonight, just to give them a try because I haven't tried these. This is the Mexican style taco seasoned pizza. Fairly good size. And then I got the. Let's see, what's it called? Smokehouse pizza. It's got smoky barbecue sauce, Canadian bacon, Italian sausage, bacon, red onions, mozzarella, and cheddar cheeses. And then this one is the barbecue chicken pizza. Um, probably not the one we'll have tonight. We'll probably have one of the others because I don't think my husband likes barbecue chicken. So anyways, that was my oldies haul. And all together, you guys, it doesn't seem like that much. But it came to um, $92.72 tax and all. Huh. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that much. I guess it doesn't buy a lot nowadays. That's how long the receipt was, though. So, yeah, the totter sauce was $1.29. The V8 vegetable juice was $2.88. I was correct about that. Um, what else couldn't I find? Oh, the sauce pouches were $2.19, which I think comparable to the other one. If I ever find Campbell's um, tavern style um, slow cooker thing again, I will definitely pick it up because that is my favorite. I definitely give that a thumbs up. So I'm going to go ahead and get off here. If you would, please give this video a thumbs up. I'm sorry I kind of ranted today, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm glad you guys tolerate me. Um, um, if you would, if you haven't already subscribed, think about subscribing, and if you do, make sure you hit the bell, and that'll tell you whenever I upload a video. 
please everybody stay safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your family. And I will catch you later.